IHS is releasing a new round of rear crash prevention ratings on eight of the most popular small SUVs. These ratings evaluate vehicles' ability to help drivers avoid crashes while they're backing up. Rear crash prevention systems use ultrasonic sensors mounted at the back of the vehicle. They first warn the driver if there's an obstacle behind them, and in some cases can automatically apply the brakes to avoid a collision. Many vehicles also use radar units uh, as part of a rear cross traffic alert system to warn if there's a vehicle crossing their path as they back up. Backing crashes occur frequently and can result in significant damage that's often expensive. Our research has shown that these type of systems can reduce backing crashes by 80%. For that reason, we want to encourage manufacturers to equip their vehicles with these type of systems. For vehicles equipped with rear automatic braking, we conduct four backing scenarios. The first scenario involves a vehicle backing towards a pole, just like you would in a parking lot. The other three scenarios involve the test vehicle backing up towards a passenger vehicle target. Vehicles can earn one of three ratings in this program. Vehicles that earn a basic rating have rear parking sensors, rear cross traffic alert, or both. In order for a vehicle to earn an advanced rating, they must have those sensors as well as provide rear automatic braking that can reduce impact speed or avoid collisions in some of our test scenarios. Finally, our top rating of superior is for vehicles that perform even better they're able to avoid or reduce impact speeds in many of our test scenarios. Four of the eight small SUVs earned our top rating of superior. They were the Ford Escape, the Honda CRV, the Mitsubishi Outlander, and the Subaru Forester. The Ford Escape was our top performer. It only impacted the passenger car target in one of our 24 test trials. Three vehicles earned our advanced rating. They were the Mazda CX-5, the Toyota RAV4, and the Volkswagen Taos. The Hyundai Tucson received a basic rating. Unfortunately, its rear automatic braking system was unable to avoid a collision or reduce impact speeds in any of our test scenarios. Rear automatic braking is becoming more common, but it's not available on all vehicles. For the 2023 model year, it was standard on 23% of vehicles and optional on an additional 32% of vehicles. Rear crash prevention systems are effective at reducing common backing crashes. We encourage consumers to look for this technology when they buy their next vehicle. If you're in the market for a small SUV, this class offers a wide range of performance, so we encourage you to go to our website and check out the ratings.